Hey, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot here to do another energy update for the 18th to the 19th of May for the sign of Taurus. <coughs> Just keep in mind this is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information would be in the description box below. This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Taurus. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate for all of you. Alright, let me see. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Page of Cups. So for some of you, you're dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Somebody is sending you small gestures of love. It could be you sending it to someone else. Hmm. For some of you, this could have uh, been a marriage that dissolved, a long-term commitment that ended. And now for some of you, you're trying to reconcile with this person or try to start back up a relationship with this person. Yeah. But I think for some of you, you're going to be rejected because this person doesn't see making future investments with you. For some of you, it could be a sad you're dealing with, but your luck is about to change. Spirit wants you to know that your luck is about to change. Hmm. And though you have put somebody to the grinder, I think they are going to be willing to give you a second chance. For some of you, this person uh, had a child for you. And for others of you, this is a baby daddy returning. But you want things to move to calmer waters between you and this person. So for some of you, you aren't seeking to rekindle the relationship per se. But you are hoping that this person steps up to their responsibilities. Because you're not really offering any love to this person you're not rushing into them to offer them love i more feel for some of you it's like you want to have an understanding between you and the person you had this child with for some of you um to be able to have this child have both parents in their life because somebody walked away, somebody left somebody else out in the cold. And somebody is definitely trying to, yeah, have this person still in their life. It doesn't have to be romantically, but they are hoping that things, you guys could come to, uh, yeah, some kind of understanding where you can work together for the sake of the individuals involved. Yeah. Um, this person, or oh, it could be you, you don't want a new beginning with this person. You're not even searching for clarity as to what happened in the relationship before. Um, for some of you, you weren't very kind or compassionate to this person. You weren't a good father figure. But I think that for most of you, you have had time to reconsider this. Yeah, and you are at a crossroad where you need to make a decision and try to fix things between you and this person. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with for some of you. For some of you, you were, um, you are a recovering addict of some sort. Doesn't it that would not apply for all of you? So don't go saying I said you guys are addicts, it, it could apply for a small group of you. And you are looking to heal the past, could be an Aquarius you're dealing with as well. 
and see how best you can function after this marriage or this commitment ended. So for most of you, I'm sensing, sensing that you do not want to become involved romantically with this person again. But you would like to heal the situation between you and them. Because you are trying to be independent and get back up on your own two foot and be the best version of yourself. But rushing in to tell someone this is not something you're too excited about. Because you may have hurt this person very badly and now what you are offering them, you are scared that they're not going to take it. But you are trying to be single and independent and take care of your own self and try to right your wrongs. Yeah, and hopefully have a stable new beginning. Because you are ready to plant that seed and watch it grow. But for some of you, you are thinking in your mind that it is not going to work out. Because this person will not give you that recognized victory that you are hoping for. But there is a spiritual connection between you and this person. Mm -hmm. uh, could be somebody new that you are about to meet. You're trying not to think of the past too much. You're trying to have a, a clean slate, I'm hearing. So you're trying to leave the past in the past, yeah, and begin again. But for those of you that were dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, I don't think this person is being too understanding of your plight, because in the reverse, fire sign could be a handful and this is causing you to feel like the weight of the whole world is on your shoulder but for some of you you are about to enter a connection with a water sign Scorpio Pisces Cancer and you would be able to love this person unconditionally because you are finally getting over whatever held you back in the past so it could be that new love is coming into you because I'm not seeing um, reconciliation. The Six of Cups is in the reverse. So it's not somebody from the past. I, I believe it is somebody new coming back in. You are going to finally get that stability you are looking for, the commitment that you want, and the family life that you have been craving. Yeah. We have the King and Queen of Cups. You would be able to reciprocate this person's feelings for you because they would be everything that you are searching for. Marriage could be in the near future because I have two cards here suggesting such. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. But for some of you, it's karmic justice. And you are about to find your match. Because this person is going to match you in every which way. For some of you, it could be a Leo. But this person is strong. They are not afraid of anything. But you are going to be afraid that this person breaks your heart. Because of how much love you're going to have for them. Or had for them. <clears throat> So you're going, you or the person you're dealing with will have many options. But you are going to make a choice eventually, Taurus. Yeah. Because you are going to finally give up all your games and all your deceits and all the sneaking around
but I think you're going to want a grand gesture. You're not going to be accepting anything small or steady or maybe a text here or there or a date spontaneously. Uh -huh. I think what you would really want, yes, <laughs> is a new beginning in love. You want to just hit the ground spectacularly running because you also have the Ace of Wands and you have the, <laughs> the Seven of Wands. So you guys are no longer wanting to fight and quarrel and prove a point. You just want new beginnings. You want to be in love. You want to be committed to this person. Yeah. Because there was no communication between you and this person. Could be an Aries. But this person didn't want to take charge of the situation and you weren't doing that either. Because for some of you, this person was having money problems. Yeah. Somebody wasn't trusting your intuition when it came to this connection. And something wasn't changing. And without change, this could never be your wish come true. So it's either you, Taurus, need to change or the person you are dealing with. But a change is definitely needed. For some of you, it could be a Scorpio you're dealing with or a Pisces. So you have taken some time out or the person you are dealing with took some time out and reflected on the mistakes that they had made from the past. And I think they're ready to submerge a different version of themselves. Because I think you would have voiced your opinion to this person that if they didn't change, there is no point in trying to make this work. This could have been said to you or you could have said this to the person, yeah. But you're holding on for a short success. You're keeping something close to your chest. You probably have a secret. You're holding on for things to work out. But I don't think you're telling this person that. Because you aren't sure if they are ready for a commitment after a heartbreak that happened between you and them. They could have broken your heart and refused to give you loyalty. But the universe is, this seems to be a divine connection that is happening. Could be with a Leo. But you're holding on to something. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. You guys would know what you're holding on to. I'm not going to push any further into this cross watcher. I... They told me to stop, so I'm going to stop here. Alright, so have a good day, and I hope it helps.